everyone, and thanks for joining us on Eyewitness News at 4.30. I'm Erin Connolly. Hi, everybody. I'm Mark Zinni. Voters all across the state are at the polls right now, making their voices heard. And experts are calling this presidential race one of the most consequential elections of our lifetime. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson has the story from Cromwell. Oh, all right. We don't have. We're going to check back in with Sharon coming up in just a moment. Uh, our team coverage continues right now the, uh, with a look. I think we do have Kevin. He's in the uh, second congressional district, which has the most crowded field this year. And in New London, Kevin, there was a, a bit of a ballot snafu this morning, right? Oh, that's right, Mark. There was about 70 ballots were in question. They weren't read by the machine, the tabulator. Uh, and th so what they boiled it down to it came down to human error. What happened when they distributed the ballots, the packet of ballots comes in about 100, someone misread those ballots for a different House seat, and the other one was dropped off here. A mix-up this morning for some 70 voters in New London whose ballot at the Harbor School now has to be hand-tabulated. That's because the wrong ballot for a different State House seat, the 41st, was dropped off, and not the 39th House seat, which is occupied by incumbent Anthony Nolan. Everybody who voted this morning, those votes will be counted for the races that they voted in. And any of the people who weren't able to vote for the, for the 39th district, we're trying to make certain that those people have an opportunity to vote. I hope they're putting all they can into trying to locate and contact those people. We're going to allow them to vote for all the offices except for the one that's in question, and that would be two different state rep districts. Now, just a few moments ago, I talked to uh, Registrar of Voters of the Republican Party, uh, Rob Perro, here in New London. He says they've reached out to almost more than the 70 to account it for to let them know about the voting uh, mix-up and that they're going to be allowed to make that vote for the House seat. Live the Mobile News from New London, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.